Greetings! This weekly chemistry video will be on sea salt, or otherwise known as sodium chloride. Today we will be viewing sea salt and its chemical relationships, plus much more. To start, we have two basic types of atoms. Chloride and sodium. Chloride makes up 60 in 663 thousandths of the material, while sodium makes up 39 in 337 thousandths of the material. There are some interesting characteristics in the material. For example, the boiling point is 2,575 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, the melting point is 1,474 degrees Fahrenheit. The solubility is greater than or equal to 100 at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. And the density is 2.165 at 77 degrees Fahrenheit. The material is mostly safe, but when the material is placed in a temperature of decomposition, it will expel dangerous fumes of hydrochloric acid and dissodium oxide in its surrounding environment. Sodium chloride slash sea salt is commonly found in oceans. This location especially exposes the material to other molecules that it may absorb. This leads to the theory that salt can heal. Is it the salt itself or the other materials that the salt absorbed? An example of such a situation is the belief introducing the idea of bath salt encouraging healthier skin. The reality behind this is that the high magnesium in the bath salt was causing such effects. Also, another belief of such was that sea salt promotes healthy dental care, but once again, the mineral fluoride in this situation was absorbed into the sea salt which contains chloride and sodium when it's pure. Sodium chloride is a common material with varied usages. Obviously, there are more uses that were not listed. You can pause the video to view them. That is all for today's video. For more interesting content, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a good day and see you next week.